Hi everyone, welcome to this Hatha Yoga class with me, Esti. You can come to a comfortable seat on your mat. Let's get started. If you have some tightness in your hips or lower back and sitting cross-legged on the floor is a little uncomfortable, then I would recommend bringing a pillow or a cushion. You can fold it in half so that it's firm and bring it underneath your sitting bones. This will give your hips and lower back the support you need so that you can sit comfortably while we settle into the body. If you don't need a block or a cushion, you can sit in any comfortable cross-legged position. If you're practicing lotus pose, coming into the posture. Feeling your sitting bones press towards the ground. On your next inhale, reaching up through the top of your head, lengthening. As you exhale, relaxing your shoulders down. You can lower your gaze or gently shut your eyes. Bring awareness to your breath. As you breathe in, repeat silently to yourself, inhale. As you breathe out, exhale. Open your eyes, interlock your hands in front of your chest. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Staying here for a few breaths, feel your shoulders. Imagine your shoulder blades hugging your upper back. Keep reaching the palms of your hands up. On your next exhale, release. Interlocking your hands behind your back. Lifting your chest up. Reaching your interlocked hands towards the ground behind your body. You can keep looking forward or with a long neck as long as you can follow a comfortable breath looking up. On your next exhale, release. Tuck your chin to your chest. Interlock your hands behind your head. Without collapsing in your upper back, keep a long spine. Relaxing in your shoulders and elbows. Lengthening through the back of your neck. Slowly release. Lifting your chin up, look up. Bring one hand to your chest, gently press down. Lengthening through the front of your body, the front of your neck. Slowly release. Bringing your right ear to your right shoulder. You can bring your right hand to your left ear. Left fingers to the ground. Lengthening in the left side of your neck. Feeling the connection to your left shoulder. Slowly release. On the opposite side, bringing your left ear to your left shoulder. Left hand to your right ear. Right fingers to the ground. Lengthening in the right side of your neck.
Noticing your neck connected to your shoulder. Slowly release. One more time, tuck your chin to your chest. Make neck circles. Watching the feelings in your neck. Opposite direction. When your chin is tucked, stop in here. One more time, and you lock your hands behind your head. On your next inhale, lifting your chest up, looking up. Imagine you're lifting your chest up to a 45 degree angle. Bringing your awareness to your shoulder blades. Imagine your shoulder blades giving in and coming down your back. Lifting your chest up. Two more breaths. One more breath. On your next exhale, release. Making circles with your shoulders. Imagine drawing big circles with your shoulder joints. Opposite direction. Shaking out your shoulders. Making a gentle movement. On your next exhale, <sighs> release. Reaching your arms out to the sides. Keep relaxing your shoulders down. On your next inhale, opening, bringing awareness to the front of your chest, looking up. Exhale, reaching your fingers forward, reach your upper back back. Inhale, opening in the front of your chest. Exhale, upper back. Inhale, chest. Exhale, upper back. Inhale, chest. Exhale, upper back. Inhale, chest. Exhale, release. Bringing awareness to your spine. On your next inhale, twist into the right. Exhale, release, coming back to center. Inhale, twisting to the left. Exhale, release, coming back to center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, center. Hip circles. Watch the feelings in your hips. In your pelvis. And lower back. Opposite direction. Coming back to center. Inhale, rock your tailbone back, lift your chest up, looking up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, look towards your belly, make a C-shape with your spine. Inhale, rocking your tailbone back. Exhale, rocking forward. Inhale, filling up your whole body. On your next exhale, walk your hands forward, folding forward. You can come just as far as is comfortable for your body now. Maybe resting on your hands. Keep relaxing your shoulders and the back of your neck. Maybe coming all the way down onto your elbows or bringing your forehead to the ground. Comfortable breathing. On 
on your next inhale, coming back, swapping your legs around. If you had one leg in front, bringing it behind, or if you had one leg on top, bringing it below. One more time, filling up, inhale. On your next exhale, folding forward, going just as far as is comfortable for your body now. Comfortable breathing. On your next inhale, coming back. Release your legs. Reaching your right leg forward, leg knee bent. If you have a cushion uh, or a block, you can choose to use it here or not. Feeling how the seated posture is the most comfortable for your body now. Keep feeling the back of your leg press towards the ground. Long spine, inhale. Exhale, folding forward. You can rest your hands together on your leg or grabbing onto the top of your foot. Relaxing your shoulders and the back of your leg. Invite a comfortable feeling. On your next inhale, coming back. Open your right leg to the right side. Sitting so that your knees are open equally to the sides so that you can feel both of your sitting bones press the ground. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Keep feeling your right buttocks press towards the ground. Comfortable breathing. Slowly coming back. Twisting over your straight leg. On your next exhale, folding forward. Imagine bringing your belly button onto your thigh. Keep following the comfortable feeling. Inhale, coming back. Bringing your right side body towards your right leg. You can keep your right hand resting on your right leg or grabbing onto your right big toe. Reaching your left arm up, looking up. You can stay here or if the posture feels comfortable, bringing your arm by your ear. Lengthening through the left side body. One more breath. Inhale, coming back. On the opposite side, bringing your left leg forward, right knee bent. This time feeling the back of your left leg press the ground. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, folding forward. Comfortable breathing. On your next inhale, coming back. Opening your left leg to the left side. Feel both of your sitting bones press the ground, your knees open equally to the side. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. On your next inhale, slowly walking your hands back, coming back, twisting over your left leg. On your next exhale, folding forward. Grabbing on wherever is comfortable. Imagine that you're bringing your belly button onto the top of your thigh. Relaxing your shoulders and the back of your neck.
slowly coming back. Imagine bringing your left side body towards your left leg, your left hand either resting on your leg or grabbing onto your left big toe, reaching your right arm up. If your leg feels comfortable, keep looking up past your fingertips. You can stay here or if the posture is comfortable, bringing your arm by your ear. Lengthening through the right side body. One more break. On your next inhale, coming back. Bringing your feet together, heels towards your body for cobbler's pose. Hands on the ground, your spine lengthening, inhale. Exhale, folding forward. You can go just as far as is comfortable for your body now. With each exhale, allow your shoulders and the back of your body to soften. If you still have some tension in your shoulders, you can release your hands to the ground. With each exhale, relaxing a little more in the forward fold. On your next inhale, coming back. Coming to hero pose at the end of your mat. Either coming to sit on your heels or in between your feet. If this posture is uncomfortable or causes pain in your joints, you can release at any time. Choosing the best posture for your body now. Interlocking your hands in front of your chest. Inhale, reaching your arms up. Exhale, release. Interlocking your hands behind your back. Reaching your interlocked hands towards the ground, lifting your chest up, looking up. On your next exhale, release. One more time, interlocking your hands in front of your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Coming into tabletop. Bringing your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. On your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, reach your upper back up, lift towards your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Coming back to your neutral spine. Pressing your left hand firmly to the ground. Inhale, reaching your right arm up, twisting your spine, looking up. On your next exhale, bringing your right arm underneath your body, bring your right shoulder, your head to the ground. Noticing if you're leaning to one side, feel your hips, your legs, your weight equally distributed in both sides. You can stay here or if the posture feels okay, reaching your left arm up and back. Going just as far as is comfortable for your body. Continue to tune to a comfortable breath. One more breath. On your next exhale, release your hands. On your inhale, pressing yourself back to tabletop. On the opposite side, firmly pressing your right hand into the ground. Inhale, reaching your left arm up, looking up. Exhale, threading your left arm underneath your body. Bringing your shoulder, your head to the ground. Feeling my left and right side. You can stay here or if the posture feels okay, reaching your right arm back. Comfortable breathing. Slowly release. Press your hands to the ground, coming back 
tabletop. One more time, inhale, drop your belly, let your chest look up. Exhale, take your tailbone, reach your upper back up, look towards your belly. Coming back to your neutral spine. Walking your hands forward for happy puppy pose. For this posture, keep your hips above your knees. Reaching your arms forward, your fingertips reaching forward. Your arms are straight, but your shoulders are relaxed. With each breath, keep relaxing your shoulders and upper back. You can stay here or if the posture feels comfortable, bringing your chest and chin towards the ground. Slowly releasing the posture, coming back to hero pose. Interlocking your hands behind your back, inhale. On your next exhale, bring the top of your head to the ground, your hips above your knees. Feeling your interlocked hands come towards the ground behind your head. Releasing the posture, bring your big toes together, sink your buttocks to your heels, coming to child's pose. Resting your arms by the side of your body. Bring your awareness to your breath. As you exhale, relaxing in the back of your body. Melting down. At any time, if you need to rest, you can come back to this posture or any comfortable racing posture. Just watching your breath until you feel ready to join us again. Bringing your hands by your ears on an inhale, coming to sit up. Coming to stand at the front of your mat. Preparing for sun salutations, bringing your hands together in front of your chest. Becoming aware of your feet connected to the ground, especially your heels pressed down. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, falling forward. You can bend your knees as much as you need to, squeeze your forehead into your legs. Inhale, right foot back. Back knee, top of the foot to the ground. Exhale, lift it back, downward facing dog, reaching your tailbone up. Once again, you can keep a bend in your knee, keeping your spine nice and long. Knee to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, looking up. Tuck your toes, squeeze your belly in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Back knee, top of the foot to the ground. Exhale, left foot forward, forward fold, squeezing in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. 
Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, left foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, sit up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, left foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying here for five breaths. One, two, three. Feeling your hands and feet connected to the ground. Four, five, warrior one, inhale, right foot forward, bringing both of your feet to the ground, your hands to your hips, keep feeling your left hip coming forward, right hip coming back, both of your feet connected to the ground, you can stay here or if the posture is comfortable, reaching your arms up, five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Release the posture, bring your hands to the ground. Exhale, right foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one on the other side. On your next inhale, step your left foot forward. Bringing both of your feet to the ground, back knee is lifted. Bring your hands to your hips. This time, bringing your right hip forward, left hip back. Both of your feet facing the ground. You can stay here or if the posture feels okay, reach your arms up. One, two, three, four, five. On your next exhale, release the posture, bring your hands to the ground. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, look up or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. 
Keep feeling your hands and feet connected to the ground. Three. Four. Five. Warrior two. On your next inhale, stepping your right foot forward. Bringing both of your feet to the ground this time, opening your pelvis to the side. Keep sinking down. Feeling your weight equally distributed in your left and right side. Arms in line with your shoulders, looking over your left fingertips. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Bring your right elbow to your knee, left arm behind your back. Looking over your left shoulder. Imagine making one long line all the way from your left heel through to the top of your head. Four. Five. Reaching your left arm up, looking up. You can stay here or if the posture is comfortable, you can bring your right hand to the ground. One. Two, feeling your feet connected to the ground. Three, four, five. On your next exhale, bring your hands to the ground, stepping your right foot back, downward facing dog. Knees to the ground or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift foot forward. Warrior two. Opening your hips to the sides. Feeling my left and right side. Both of my feet pressing the ground equally. Arms in line with your shoulders, looking over your right fingers. One. Two, three, four, five. Lift elbow to your left thigh, right arm behind your back. This time lengthening all the way through the right side of the body, reaching up through the top of your head. Three, four, five. Reaching your right arm up. You can stay here or left hand to the ground. One, two, three. Four, five, hands to the ground, lift the back, downward facing dog, knees to the ground or knees, chest, chin to the ground, inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest or cobra pose, exhale, downward facing dog, five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. On your next inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Hands to our center, exhale. Coming to stand in the center of your mat. Separating your feet for triangle pose. Turning your right toes up. For a moment, bring your hands to your hips, feeling both of your feet press the ground. 
so much so so that you feel your legs engage. Keeping this grounding feeling, reach your arms out to the sides. On your next exhale, reaching your hips to the left, fingers to the right, coming into the posture. You can rest your right hand anywhere in your right leg that's comfortable, reaching your left arm up. One. Two. Three, keep feeling your feet. Four. Five. On your next inhale, coming back, exhale, release. Turning your right toes in, left toes out. Bringing your hands to your hips. Both of your feet press the ground, feel your legs. Keeping this grounding feeling, arms to the sides, inhale. Exhale, reaching your hips to the right, fingers to the left, coming into the posture. One, two, three, four, five, push your feet on your next inhale, coming up, exhale, release. Stepping your feet together, shifting your weight into your left foot, preparing for tree pose. If balance is tricky, you can keep your toes on the ground or uh, use the support of a wall close by. If balance is okay, bring your foot below or above your knee. You can stay here or reaching your arms up, five breaths. One, two, three, keep pressing your left foot, four, five, slowly release your hands, release your leg. We're shifting your weight into your right foot. Once again, adjusting the posture as you need. If you need to use the support of a wall, no problem. If you need to keep your toes on the ground, no problem. Choosing the posture that is the most comfortable for your body at this moment. Keep feeling your right foot press the ground. You can stay here or reaching your arms up. One. Two. Three, four, five, slowly release your hands, release your leg. As much as you can without using your hands, come to sit down on your mat. Reaching both of your legs forward. Feel your sitting bones press the ground. Your spine reaching up. You can keep your hands resting on your thighs or bringing your hands next to your sitting bones. Side bend in your elbows, feel your shoulders coming down, your spine reaching up. One, two, three. Four, five, taking a deep breath in, feel the top of your head reaching up. On your next exhale, folding forward, imagine bringing your belly, chest, forehead towards your legs. You can grab on with your hands to your legs or your feet, anywhere that is comfortable for your body now. Keep coming back to your breath.
with each exhale relaxing a little more in your shoulders and the back of your body. One more breath. On your next inhale, coming back. Coming to lie down on your belly. Make a comfortable resting posture. Relaxing your legs. Your shoulders. Your whole body. Prepare for Sphinx pose. Bring your hands by your ears, elbows in by the side of your body. Feeling the fronts of your legs and the tops of your feet on the ground. Forehead to the ground, exhale. On your next inhale, lifting your head and chest up. Keep your hands, forearms, elbows on the ground. Five breaths. One. Two. Three, four, five, exhale, release. You can repeat this posture or if you have no pain, bringing your hands next to your chest for cobra pose. Keep squeezing your elbows in, the forehead down, exhale, inhale, lifting up. One, two, your shoulders coming away from your ears, chest lifting up, three, four, five. On your next exhale, slowly release the posture. One more time, make a resting posture. This time, bring your opposite cheek to the ground. Relaxing your whole body. Preparing for the next posture. One more time, bring the front of your legs, the tops of your feet to the ground. Interlock your hands behind your back. Forehead down, exhale. Inhale, lifting your head and chest up. One, keep feeling the front of your legs, tops of your feet, press the ground. Two, lifting up. Three, four. Five, exhale, slowly release. You can repeat this posture or if you have no pain, grabbing onto your feet, preparing for bow pose. Four to the ground, exhale. Inhale, lifting your thighs, head and chest up. If you're in the previous posture, keep pressing the front of your legs to the ground. Lifting up, three more breaths, three, four, five, on your next exhale, slowly release, release the posture, keeping your knees bent, rock your legs from side to side.
stopping the movement, prepare for the next posture. Bring your arms underneath your body, hands underneath your thighs. Legs together, foray to the ground, exhale. Inhale, lifting your legs up. One, keep your legs straight, knees together, feet together. Two, three, keep lifting up. Four, five, exhale, release. One more time. You can bring your arms a little closer together underneath your body. Keep squeezing in, four, eight, down, exhale. Inhale, lifting up. One, two, using your buttocks, the backs of your thighs, lift up, three. Four, one more breath. Five, exhale, Ooh, release. Deeply exhale. Huh. Slowly turning onto your back. Bringing both of your knees in towards your chest. Gently rocking from side to side. Stopping the movement, bring your feet to the ground, your right ankle on top of your left knee, grabbing onto the back of your left leg or your left shin, choosing the posture that feels the most comfortable so that you can keep a relaxed feeling in your shoulders and hip joints. Release. Bringing your right foot to the ground, left ankle on top of your right knee, either grabbing onto the back of your right thigh, squeezing in, or if the posture is comfortable, grabbing onto your shin. Slowly release. Bringing both of your knees in towards your chest one more time. Keep squeezing your thighs, your belly knees in towards your chest. Release your arms in line with your shoulders, palms facing up. If you don't have a lot of space where you are, you can make cactus arms. On your next exhale, dropping your knees to the right side of your body, looking to the left. Comfortable breathing. With each breath, allow your body to soften. To relax a little more. On your next inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, dropping your knees to the left side of your body, looking to the right. With each breath, relaxing a little more in the chest. Slowly coming back. Bring your feet to the ground. Your arms by the side of your body. 
Stepping your feet a little closer towards your buttocks. Your feet firmly on the ground, exhale. On your next inhale, lifting your pelvis up. Imagine you're holding a block in between your thighs, your knees gently squeezing in towards each other. Three. Four. Five. Exhale, slowly release. One more time, bringing your knees in towards your chest. Starting with small movements, just lifting your lower back off the ground and pressing it down. Gently making this movement bigger and bigger until you start rocking forwards and back. Gradually making the rocking bigger and bigger. If you're not familiar with plow pose, please first watch on the screen so that in the posture you can keep your chin tucked to support and protect your neck. As you're rocking forwards and back, when the rocking is comfortable, bringing your feet back behind your head, support your middle or lower back with the palms of your hands. Coming into plow pose when you're ready. If this posture is not comfortable or you feel some pain, you can stay with your back on the ground. Reaching your legs up, make a 90 degree angle with your body. Choosing the posture that feels best for your body now. If you're in 90 degrees, stay here. If you're in plow pose, reaching your legs up for shoulder stand, please keep your chin tucked. Feet are together, but relax. Looking towards your belly as you breathe. If you're in shoulder stand, coming back to plow pose, slowly lowering your feet back behind your head. With control, release the posture, press your upper back, middle back, lower back to the ground. If you're in 90 degrees, slowly with control, release your legs towards the ground. Bending your knees. One more time, bring your feet hip distance apart, your heels as close to your body as you can comfortably press your feet. Exhale. Inhale, lifting your pelvis up. Keep feeling your feet connected to the ground. This is the second time we're doing this posture. Noticing how it feels now. One more breath. On your next exhale, slowly release. Bring your arms underneath your body, release your legs. Raise your feet, elbow. <clears throat> yeah, release your legs. Press your elbows into the ground, lift your chest up, lower the top of your head to the ground. Fish pose. Feet are together but relaxed. Slowly release the posture. Coming into a corpse pose, samasa. Bring your feet wider than hip distance apart. Let them fall naturally to the side. Arms away from your body, palms facing up. Eyes gently shut. Bring your awareness to your breath.
as we did at the start of class. As you breathe in, repeating silently to yourself, inhale. As you breathe out, exhale. You're welcome to continue resting here for as long as you need. If you're ready to get up, slowly start by moving your fingers and toes. Interlock your hands, reaching your arms up. Stretching out your whole body. Exhale, release. Turning onto your most comfortable side. When you're ready, press your hands to the ground. Coming into a seated posture as we were at the start of class, sitting comfortably, resting your hands on your knees. Lengthening your spine. Relaxing your shoulders down. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. Pour it towards the ground. Namaste. Class is finished. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and see you again soon. Bye.